Reese Witherspoon recently made headlines uh, when she said that sometimes the kindest thing we can do for our kids is let them know when they're just bad at something. <laughs> now, when she says her daughter Ava cried over not making a single basket during the game, Reese said, well, maybe you're bad at basketball. <laughs> now, while Ava thought that was mean, Reese said, well, guess what? Your mom is bad at basketball, too. <laughs> So, ladies, here's the question. Should parents make their kids' lives easier by sugarcoating everything, or should tough love be the approach? Well, I'm TL, tough love all day long. <laughs> you know, this is so funny because I thought it was a generational thing, so I'm glad to see Reese is throwing it down like she is in parenting. Because I was growing up in high school and I was so popular and all this, I had, I was in my own clique. I was a clique of one. <laughs> <laughs> one person in the clique, it was me. And I wanted to be popular. You're probably a cheerleader. And anyway, so like, <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to be a cheerleader. And I remember coming home going, I'm gonna be a cheerleader. And my mom looked at me, she goes, one, you don't have the hair or the body for it. <laughs> Two, you ain't athletic at all. <laughs> And she said, three, you, the only thing you're good at is running your mouth and singing. And if you're a cheerleader, you're gonna blow your voice out screaming. So let the cheerleading go and sing and be a public speaker and say something, Kim. Don't be a cheerleader. <laughs> and so, I'm telling you, Teddy, uh, Rachel, I thought my mom hated cheerleading, right? I thought, oh, she's yeah. just prejudiced. Again. My sister comes home, she goes, oh, baby, you'll be the best little cheerleader ever. <laughs> I guess she had the body and the face and the hair for it. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think it's important to tell your kids, look, this is not what you're good at, but let's focus on what you are good at. Yeah. You'll find your purpose that way. I agree with you. I 100% agree because life is hard. No one's gonna sugarcoat anything for you in That's life. True. So you shouldn't do that for your kids. You're setting your kids up for failure, you know? I remember my dad told me that his dad told him, he came home one time, he was so proud of like a paper or something he did. And his dad said, hmm. You're a Lindsay, that's what you're supposed to do. Ooh. You know, he was tough on him and that's how I was raised. And I feel like maybe if it is a little bit harder for you to be that tough with your kids, like with the Reese Witherspoon example, you get your basketball, you get her a basketball tutor and then you let the tutor tell her that she's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you passed the buck. Get her a coach, let the coach tell her. Yeah. I, and, and I hear what you guys are saying, but I also think that there's a balance of listening to what your kid wants. I don't think so, telling them, oh, you're so great, you're wonderful, but for example, my daughter was auditioning for plays. She kept getting in the chorus. I didn't say anything about it. I was like, yeah, great, whatever. And then she said, mom, I want the lead role. What okay. do I need to do? And I said, you need to try harder. You need to raise your eye, you need to yeah, sing loud, and you need to be proud. Hold up, hold up, that sounds good, Teddy. But <laughs> she is the granddaughter of John Cougar Mellencamp. <laughs> it's in her blood. <laughs> well, okay, so it's okay. Fine. But the yeah. point is, well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, but I think regardless if it's soccer or whatever yeah. it is, you can say, listen, you want to be good at it? Work harder at it. Work hard. right. And, and if that hard. doesn't work out, then yeah, you're you still not good at it. You gotta let them know. Then you gotta <laughs> let them know. But I don't think all kids should win, get first place. Oh, the trophy I, thing. What's beyond, up with that? I can't. No, you can't. That's not how it works. And I'm glad to see all of you on the same page with this because technically that's really how most people feel. It's like my son came in one day, said, Dad, I'm gonna be a model. I said, what kind of model? <laughs> he said, runway model. I, I said, boy, we're not model people. You look just like me. Couldn't <laughs> be no damn model. <laughs> Why would you want to go down there and get rejected that hard? Well, Dad, how do you know if I'm gonna get rejected? You always to always to never to always try. I'm saving you a trip down there. Yes. Yeah. If you're not attractive, you're not attractive. <laughs> It's all right. It's all right. You just got to walk towards the light. <laughs> if you're not attractive, just admit it. It's a place for you. There it is. There it is. There I believe is. that. It's a place for everybody in this world. Everybody can't be beautiful. <laughs> I'm not. I ain't never been cute. Ain't, I ain't never walked in no room and went, ooh, he cute. <laughs> I can relate. Oh. I like walking in the room here. and they go, ooh, he got some money. Give me that. <laughs> Cute though. Yeah. That makes you cute. Hey, listen, uh, we need to take a break. Stay with us. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. 
I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.